So my channel got hijacked. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how it got stolen, what the hacker did to it, and how I regained control. So how did this happen? It's very simple, really. The hacker gained control of my account via phishing attack. And yes, I know how silly that sounds. So I received the following email while at work. I don't want to make any excuses, but I was quite busy, so I just skimmed it. What I read was, there's a copyright claim on one of my videos and I needed to remove it or otherwise my account would be suspended. The sender was YouTube Copyright, which at the time seemed like a legit account name, so I thought, okay, let's just get it done quickly and get back to work. So I clicked on the link and I logged in with my Google account details. I know what you're thinking. After I logged in, nothing happened. There was no video to remove, so I stupidly thought, okay, there must be some sort of glitch. And I went on with my day. You see, this is the idea of the phishing attack. The only way for them to succeed is to exploit your momentary lack of focus. If I had checked the sender's email, I would have known that it was a fake. And what pisses me off to this day is that if I had spent more than 30 seconds reading the email, this could all have been avoided. Okay, next day I received the following email from Google followed by this email. That's when I knew, I'm f***ed. After I received that email, I changed my passwords and I regained control of my account. But the damage was done. The hacker had removed my channel from my Google account. Okay, I thought, this must have happened before and there must be a clear cut way to report this to YouTube and regain control of my account immediately. Well, not really. Google can guide you on how to regain control of your Google account, but it doesn't really have a procedure for taking back your YouTube channel once it has been migrated from your account. What I found out is that there are only two ways you can make such a complaint. Number one is to start a thread on the YouTube community forum and hope that someone from Google will reply to your post. Number two is to tweet at Team YouTube and this was the way I got in touch. I tweeted the day I lost the account, hoping for a swift resolution to this problem. I received a reply on the following day and I shared all the info of my hacked account. YouTube replied saying they'll pass it along and let me know when they have an update. Two weeks later, my channel, which I assume by then was sold to a third party, was updated with a new banner, profile pic and name. I again raised this to YouTube, who had been in radio silence since their last message. A couple of days later, the account started spamming football videos. And I'm talking full-length games of European club football. Sometimes the same game was uploaded multiple times in different languages. Now, my channel has absolutely nothing to do with football. And when my subscribers started being bombarded by the spam, they weren't happy. And I don't blame them. No one wants to see their feed flooded by random sh**. In the course of two days, I lost roughly around four to 5,000 subscribers. The numbers are not very clear, as the channel also started gaining subscribers who liked the football content. I believe some of them are still subscribed here and would be unsubbing in the coming weeks, which would be fun to see. Now, when the spamming started, I was like a drowning man grasping at straws, leaving comments under the videos, just trying to get people's attention and let them know that the channel was hacked. You see, this was the only way I could reach out to my audience, which is why I will be plugging my Twitter and second channel account from now on. And this will be my advice to all other creators, as you can't just have one outlet to reach your audience. I believe on day 3 after the spamming began, the account got terminated. But not before reaching 1 million views and posting more than 50 times. Just as a comparison, my channel prior to being hijacked had 17 videos on it and about 200,000 views. Two days later, YouTube told me that they can indeed confirm that my channel was hijacked. And they asked me to create a new channel so that they can transfer the account back to me. Of course I did that immediately and YouTube was quick to follow, giving me my channel back 140 days later. Now let me just say this. I'm aware that the only person I should be mad at is myself for being stupid and trusting a phishing email. Bad people with malicious intent exist and I should know better and protect myself. I'm also thankful to YouTube for helping me get my channel back. That being said, I am a bit salty. And let me tell you why. Number one, why isn't there anyone I can reach like customer service or file a complaint on the YouTube website? Why do I have to use Twitter for YouTube issues? 
This doesn't seem like a professional way to do things, and it doesn't give me any comfort that my problem is going to be resolved. Number 2. After getting in touch with YouTube, why are they so slow to react? It took 3 days to terminate the account after it started spamming, costing me thousands of subs. It took 5 months for YouTube to transfer the account back to me after they verified what I was saying was true. It took 167 days from the initial complaint to me getting the account back. 167 days. And yes, I know, most countries have been under some sort of lockdown since April. But we're not talking about a small business here. We're talking about a company that generated over 15 billion dollars in revenue in 2019. And they did so by selling a product which people like me provide. If I were a full-time YouTuber, I would have lost my income for close to half a year just because YouTube doesn't care enough about small channels. Since I got hacked, it was like watching a slow motion car crash. And what's worse is that everything I said could have been easily verified if only there was someone who cared enough to listen. For God's sake, my channel has my name, my actual name. Not only that, but the videos on it are voiced by me and some of them are even of me. Number 3. Why was the channel even allowed to exist for 3 days? Spamming my subscribers with obviously copyrighted material despite the warning I gave YouTube almost a month prior. Like I said, I'm a bit salty. But anyway, I just want to finish this video by saying a big thank you to my subscribers for sticking around, for subscribing to my second channel or for following me on Twitter and sending me tweets, comments and emails with kind words of support. And the support I've received during this time has really been the silver lining of this experience. And yet, another big thank you to Austin McConnell who reached out and helped me once again. Now, as for the future of this channel, you've probably noticed I've changed the name to Good To Know, which I think better reflects the type of content I post. This is merely a cosmetic change. I have a few videos lined up for the next month, which people on my second channel have already seen, but most of you guys haven't and you'll be happy to know none of them are football videos. Okay, thanks for watching my long ass rant video and thanks for sticking around. It's good to be back.